Activision doesn't give a f about you or your opinions on skill-based matchmaking. I played COD for about 12 years as a below average player. And in that time when we didn't have skill-based matchmaking, people in the community got along just fine. Matches were just fine. And I think that's the one sentiment that we all agree on. Skill-based matchmaking. It shouldn't be in the game. But here's the thing. All this talk about it for the last four years, people are just sitting here talking about it, rehashing the same old points. Maybe some new information comes up regarding skill-based matchmaking and they want to talk about that just to make videos. But other than that, it's nothing. It makes no difference what kind of information you put out there about it. It doesn't fucking matter because by and large, the people who are complaining about skill based matchmaking make up only 20 to maybe 30 percent at best of the community. The majority of players are below average. They're below a 0.9 KD. And those people don't care about getting better. They're never going to get better. They're dog. Shit, they're trash. They're garbage. They're ass. they fucking suck. The people who are enjoying skill-based matchmaking are people at the very bottom, and those people make up the majority of the community. That's all you need to know. Maybe like a third of the people that I've met don't care about skill-based matchmaking being in the game, and they would play it just like they used to back in the old days if there wasn't any. And then there's the two-thirds that are like, yeah, f that don't take out skill-based matchmaking. I like things the way they are because most people are average fucking people who don't have that much fucking time or really don't care to put in that much time in Call of Duty. They enjoy what they like about the game, get on, and then they want to play their shit and they want to get off. Whether you're a 1.2, a 1.5, a 1.8 or whatever, you don't even have to be a two point KD player. A lot of these people don't even want to see anybody marginally better than they are. That's it, man. They just don't want to see anybody much better than them in the lobbies. They want their lobbies to be tame. They want their lobbies to be uh, what we call boring. Boring. Like I'm up for a challenge, but who gives a f right? I'm one guy. It doesn't matter. And what you say doesn't matter either. I've seen the same comments over and over again. People and off of those two videos, I had to get delete like five of the comments because they were all the same thing. They were all people saying the same shit. People telling me their opinions on, well, it should actually just be this, not this, bro. Shut the f up. You all telling me that is not going to change the fact that they make more money with skill based matchmaking in the game. And the reason I'm even bringing this up is because I've seen so many videos come across my feed and my recommendations talking about skill based matchmaking. I know this is the hottest topic, but man, bro, I'm so tired of seeing even my favorite content creators talking about it and they just doing it for the views. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so in the midst of me making this video, Nero Cinema dropped a video a couple of hours ago talking about skill-based matchmaking, and boy, the kind of shit that he was talking about in there blew my mind, and it was very, very similar to the things that I was saying in the earlier portion of this video. So a guy did a case study with five different accounts of 20 games each account, and he had some varying findings based on the level of KD that he had. I just want to say the more important thing is from 9.5 and up is basically average players or slightly above average players, right? And here's the key thing. A 0.86 KD is an average player. Ooh, that's kind of small. 0.86 below a nine. So slightly below where I'm at is where the average players are. And I'm going to throw a clip up of the video that uh, uh, Nero Cinema posted of him being in low level lobbies that he thought was like the lower percentile. And that's not it. Those are average players, bro. They look like, well, I mean, we look like bots. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I move a little better, but it's safe to say, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have that much mechanical skill, but, you know, it's safe to say that this is where a lot of people are at uh, because of skill based matchmaking. The average KD has gone down quite a bit. And, um, it kind of drives home the point that I'm trying to make in this video is that they do not care about your opinions and the people who are outside of the scope of players that they are trying to appease. And one thing that they know about above average players is that they don't necessarily need a whole bunch of priming in order for them to continue to purchase and play the game if 
at the base of the game at its core gameplay if they deliver everything else they don't necessarily need to worry about the matchmaking system for the most part because those people return to call of duty more so every year if not every other year depending on what studio it is and they these people to some degree really still actually enjoy it and they can't get their needs fulfilled with other first person shooters anywhere else there is no other game like call of duty you could try and say x defiant but it really just doesn't have that that fine polish that call of duties like a lot of call of duties have even if they have other aspects that they just do not deliver in um it's that same old good call of duty formula it's like the krabby patty secret formula yes! Yes! I I love call of duty <laughs> This SBMM, EOMM stuff really introduced me to the idea that COD could actually go on and be perfectly fine without above average or high skilled players. And that thought is truly ridiculous. But with everything that they're doing with the game, I can vaguely imagine this being the future of Call of Duty. Water sucks. Gatorade is better. What? Gatorade not only quenches your thirst better, it tastes better too, idiot. You're, you're, you're drinking the wrong water. Gatorade. H2O. Gatorade. H2O. But salute to the people who already left COD. Look, if I'm being real, man, it's been past time to move on from this. Stop dwelling on it. Stop giving your two cents on this shit. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your breath, bro. You look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up the worst part about it is most of the people who complain about sbmm are still playing the game and that's their right to voice their displeasure but if you actually want to see something happen you got to show them by leaving and openly supporting projects that you guys actually believe in that's why i have so much respect for people who went to x defiant after call of duty didn't fulfill what they wanted it's happening in the battlefield community too because the second that alpha for delta force dropped everybody was on it and the battlefield player base were singing their praises because they executed on shit that they've been begging ea to do for years look call of duty isn't some small dedicated indie studio trying to kickstart a passion project this is large is established with investors and they're trying to flip a bag and if what i've read is straight fact they have every incentive not to listen to us when it comes to removing skill-based matchmaking from the game it's some sad shit, but it's safe to say skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty is here to stay. Boy, for the people over a one-point KD in Call of Duty, or really any game at this point, I feel so bad for you motherfuckers right now. If it's not one thing, it's another. Sweats, skill-based matchmaking, cheaters, uh, EOMM. <laughs> I mean, bruh. I mean, take your pick, man. It ain't nothing you can do if you decent in the fucking game. My question to you guys is, what the fuck are you guys gonna do? And this is a real question. This is not me like, I'm not like shitting on you guys or anything like that. This is genuinely a question from a guy that I don't, I'm, I'm never going to see any of this stuff. Like, this is stuff that is exclusively going to happen to people who will even well, much above my skill level. So you guys tell me in the comments below, if, if you're not leaving Call of Duty, what are you doing? Um, if you're not going to leave, are you going to play this? And then drop your KDs down in the comment section below. I want to see what kind of like, like for the people who are actually like getting recommended this video, like what kind of... Like, what's your play style? How do you play? What do your average games look like? Um, I mean, bro, like, do you play with a team? Do you, is it more than, like, because I don't even see people in, like, full six-mans anymore. So, I mean, is it like, do you guys only play, like, run two-mans, duos, trios, maybe at best? Uh, like, what? what's your, like, what are you guys' games looking like? What are you guys' future plans for Black Ops 6? What is your... I mean, I don't even know, bro. Like, I, I mean, or, and if you're leaving Call of Duty, what are you leaving Call of Duty for? What are you going to, where, where are you guys going to go? Um, Apex is basically f***ing dead. Uh, you know, Fortnite is Fortnite, and there's some other games that are coming out. It's more 6v6 oriented games. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. It has been your boy, The Furious J. And I'm out.
Later. Call of Duty.